Hey, welcome to another Bumpy video. And today we're going to do uh, a bit of uh, Yahoo auctions buying, and this has been requested from uh, one of the viewers, uh, which is uh, Gretzi Z. Um, basically, he wanted to know how you can buy stuff from Auctions Yahoo and how you can get it to your doorstep. I'm going to do that in a three-step phase. So first video will be about finding stuff, buying it from uh, using a, a proxy, a man in the middle. And then uh, the second part will be when stuff arrives at the proxy and I'm going to ship it uh, to my doorstep. And then the third part is when it actually arrives here. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video and this is the first in the uh, three steps. Step one is uh, Find your goods, and I would say finding the goods would be like going to Auction Yahoo itself. There we are. So here we have the website of Auction Yahoo, and you can see that it is all in Japanese. And well, you know, if you're not familiar with the Japanese characters, it will be very different, difficult to actually read it. So uh, using Chrome would be a great help here because it says like, hey, do you want to translate it? Oh, yes, I do. Please translate. So it's going to be translated from Japanese to English and then we can start and see what is in here. So we see a lot of stuff here. Uh, I can buy computer, consumer electronics, etc. But I'm actually more interested in Car stuff. So car, used car, motorcycle. So we have automotive here. Uh, used used car, new car, parts, tires, wheels. You, you can get some excellent deep dish there. Uh, but that's not what we're going to look for today. I'm going to look for uh, catalogs. So there we go. We go to the catalogs part, and what do we have there? Brochures, and we have a oh nice, a 1973 Skyline brochure. Uh, but I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the Toyota stuff, and I actually want to get my Toyota stuff here. So um, actually, I'm more interested in weird stuff that is related to uh, my Karina. So what I normally do is I type in here Karina, but well, if I would type in Karina here. So Auctions Yahoo actually translates Karina to uh, the Japanese Karina word. So that uh, something you can see here, um, which is excellent because now I can just search on uh, any phrase I would like. If I would fill in here Corolla 11, we would end up with a bunch of brochures about the Corolla 11 and some booklets and stuff. And there aren't that many and uh, apparently the translation isn't that good. So what we do instead is we go to Google Translate, we type in Karina in English. If I type in Karina in English, I would get Ryukotsu, which isn't what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Karina with a K. And Karina with a K is a totally different thing in the Japanese character set. So we're going to look for that instead. And there we go. And as you can see, we still have 812 results. So Karina got translated properly, Corolla 11 didn't. So just to show you, Corolla 11, Kakano 11. I can imagine that that uh, uh, must be the correct phrase. Do we have Corolla 11? No, we do not. So there we go. No Corolla 11, A86 then. What do we have for A86? Awesome, we have brochures, we have booklets, and probably some catalogs because I'm, I'm interested in the catalogs. Here we are, a nice catalog. So what we can do instead, and that's what I mostly do, is copy paste, and then we have here the Japanese characters for Corolla 11. And we just fill that in, Corolla 11. 
Awesome. We have 153 in total. And here we have Corolla Coupe. We have 11 book. We have some sort of, you know, KE70, AE70, TE71. So all sorts of brochures. And exactly what we wanted to find. So, going back to my search, which was Karina. There we go. Karina, I want to have Karina stuff. I don't want Levin stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, there, there were a couple of things here that I found interesting, and I'll try to uh, skip over it if um, I cannot find it. Oh yes, something interesting popping up here. There we go. So here we have something which is not a brochure. It's not a brochure, it's a magazine. As you can see, we have Jace Tippo, and I have featured a couple of them previously, where the Jace Tippo is featuring either the Karina or something else interesting. Uh, but I don't want this. This is not the age of uh, Karina's that I want. So I'll uh, continue. Look further. Maybe somewhere there is something. There is another JS Tippo. And that was the one I was looking for that I found earlier today before making this video. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we're well into like five or six minutes already. And here we have the JS Tippo that I'm interested in, which is like the uh, the Jace Tippo special about, uh, it's called Wolves in Sheep's Clothing, uh, which basically means four-door sedans and then all the beefed up and souped up uh, versions of them. And it features the Carina and also the Corona. And why does it feature that? Because those cars were considered to be wolves in sheep's clothing because they were really, really potent cars. They, they had excellent engines and they were just as fast as uh, the Celicas back in those days. So I want this one. And then there was more that I wanted to get. Okay, I found it. I found it again. So this is like... Which page are we on? <laughs> we are on page 29. Awesome. So I have a booklet here. Car graphic. Car graphic is... Let's translate that. It says Jay's Tivo. Oh wait, this is not the one. <laughs> the, the other one. Translate. Car graphic. Honda Vigor Toyota Carina. Okay, so what is it? I see a Honda City. Honda City Turbo! It's dated on the 81st of December. And if we look at it, it's basically some sum up of all the cars of 1981, I would guess. And all the prototypes. So it has a lot of information around the prototypes. And I love stuff like this. It's just like, okay. Probably this has some great content in it. And it's promising because it says oh, Toyota Carina. Toyota Carina, I want more. No, but seriously, um, you know, it's costing a thousand yen. And a thousand yen is maybe, for me, I think uh, around 8.59 euros. In, I think it's almost the same in dollars. So that would be 10 dollars. Um, so I think this is a reasonable price, and you can see that we have 23 hours remaining. So 23 hours before this one times out. So I have to be quick and order it today, and there has been no bidding on it so far. Uh, another thing, just like on eBay, you have to look at the rating of the seller, and there are six people complaining, and uh, well, 21... 166 are very happy because they have a sunny. Yeah. Um, 
it's actually coming from Fukushima Prefecture, so that's also something you have to keep in mind if it's, uh, for instance, uh, being sent from uh, Tokyo to Tokyo, the, the domestic shipping is a bit cheaper. Uh, that's something you have to take into account. But I don't mind, I want this. Uh, the Jay's Tipo is costing 290 yen, so that means for me probably 2 euro 50. And the seller only has good feedback, so that's good. That's the something I want. Uh, so both of them seem to be quite reliable. Now, if you want to have these things, you cannot buy them because I'm not. I'm not living in Japan. Uh, that becomes an issue. So what you need is a man in the middle, and a man in the middle could be the one that's over here. It's called Bai. Bai is or Bai. Depends on how you pronounce it. It's a, a company inside Japan. It buys stuff from auctions. Also some other stuff you can order, for instance, uh, from certain shops, Rakuten. Uh, and then they will ship it for you. And of course they see that I'm from abroad, so they will just show me this big banner. I'm not that fond of Bai, and Bai is... Um, I, I use them a couple of times, but they're really expensive and they don't offer a lot of choice in shipping. And you will see why I'm saying a, a lot of choice in shipping. Because the way they work is they just fetch the package for you, they stuff it inside some other uh, way of shipping it to your doorstep. So another uh, envelope to put it in or maybe a box they have to put it in and there's no negotiation about how they wrap it how they send it and that's why I don't like Bai. Who I do I like is actually from Japan. From Japan is uh, a company which they call themselves a proxy so man in the middle they do bid bidding and that sort of stuff. So uh, you can change the language here uh, if necessary. You can set the exchange rate you like. I want it to be Euro because then I can see what I'm spending in Euros. Uh, where is that? Euro. Uh, no, not the Egyptian pound. I'm not from Egypt. Euro. There we go. Alright, uh, let's log in and I'll uh, uh, cut this out to keep my details private. Alright, so I have created a new account. Uh, instead of using my old account. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to uh, pay with a different PayPal account and send it to a different shipping address. Um, so what I'm going to do is deposit. I'm going to deposit and then we're going to place a deposit. We're going to place a deposit of 5,000 yen. We're going to do that via PayPal. And then I say send. I do not want to pay with PayPal automatically next time. Don't take my details. All right, we're going to PayPal. Um, so far, so good. And it's going to tell me where do you want to send it to. Uh, and here is my address, and probably I have blurred this out, uh, but here's my address, and uh, you know, uh, this is what I'm going to do. And here you can see that actually I'm paying 45 euros, and not 1000 yen. You guys, you, this is a big investment for me, I'm investing in this channel, 45 euros. <laughs> So, we have a deposit of 5,000 yen, we have an available amount of 5,000 yen, and what are we going to do? We're going to place a bid. Now, important information before bidding. Uh, you can do either a real-time bid or a sniper bid. You can place in the URL here, and then you have to... There's a lot of, lot of blah, 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 and you know, you just want to go to the confirmation page. Uh, so which one shall we do? Uh, I don't think this one will be very popular and not raise a lot in price. So we can place a normal bid on this one. So we tell, I want to place a bid on this auction. Not a sniper bid, just a real-time bid. 
Then there's like, oh, yeah, you know, in national holidays, blah, 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 you can play a bit outside business hours. That's also one of the reasons why I like from Japan. I in the, Previously, I had a man in the middle, which was a real man in the middle, and I had to send him and bug him, please play a bit. Um, and then sometimes he didn't respond. I missed out on certain auctions. This is way safer, but you pay a little bit more. Uh, it's going to say that you're going to pay for a domestic shipping and bank transfer fee. So if they have to pay the seller, that uh, they have to transfer the fees. Uh, post office pickup, if they have an additional fee, you have to pay that. Flammable and explosive material, well, we're not going to do that. Uh, items using lithium batteries, blah, blah, blah. Oversized items, you pay a lot more for that. Domestic shipping, blah, blah, blah. Fraudulent transactions, we're not doing that. Continue. Okay, so here we have a page with the picture of the stuff that we want to buy. Uh, it has some information on the seller, uh, where they're located. This is the original auction. You can translate it in this interface. Not necessary. I want to do real-time bidding. And I want a maximum bid of, you know, let's say 500 yen. 500 yen! I bid 500 yen on that! I don't pay a bit more. So if anyone starts to start bidding on this thing, um, I have a maximum set of 500 yen. What this system will do, it will actually bid 290. And then if someone else is bidding, uh, let's say 300 yen, what from Japan will do is automatically bid 310 or 320 uh, and then up until uh, the other side is not bidding anymore. Uh, so uh, yeah, I want 500 yen as a maximum on this item and I bid 500 yen on it. Please confirm. It has positive feedback, negative feedback, zero, quantity one, commission fee, which is, they estimate that the commission for them is 200 yen for processing this. So, you know, on 290 yen, I'm paying 200 yen commission and system usage, so that's 235 yen. Um, that combined makes an estimate of 735. And what they will do is they will put this amount aside. So I can no longer bid with this money. There's also something you have to take into account. So I'm not going to bid 5,000 yen and then, you know, I cannot bid on it because I cannot pay the commission for that. Uh, so that's also something you have to take into account. 735 yen is the maximum that I'll pay for this without shipping it to uh, to me personally and then of course there's domestic shipping that's going to be on top of this and depending on the auction it probably will be either expensive or not so expensive then they asked you how do you like to have a domestically shipped so we have a safer domestic shipping method with insurance no way I'm not going to pay that for 290 uh, yen so I'm going to get the cheaper domestic shipping without insurance and tracking. Please click here if you wish your item to be sent in the exact packaging that it was received in from the seller. Well, I don't care. You know, I don't care if it's in that original wrapping or whatever. I'm not a fetishist. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, an entrance ticket, uh, which is also uh, something you may want to click if you have an entrance ticket, but this is not an entrance ticket. Apply for the check service. Check service is 150 yen. So what they will do for 150 yen, they will open up the package, look whether the seller actually got you what you wanted. Uh, so they will open it up, look at the picture. Is this the Jay's Depot that you actually ordered and it's not some sort of worthless piece of paper? I don't care. Uh, sometimes you may want to care, but you know, I, I'm not going to care about this time. I agree with all the terms and conditions and it will place my bid. So, something is happening in the background and it says your bid has been placed. 
your bit has been placed. Let's have a look at the chase typo. Refresh. And what do you know? We have one bit over here. Let's translate that. We have a bit from someone. Who would that be? Oh my god. I have to log in to actually look at it. What? <laughs> in the past you were able to see who was bidding on uh, stuff like this. Um, no. So for the bit history you have to log in nowadays. That's too bad. Uh, previously you could see all sorts of funny names that they would take on. So from Japan doesn't use from Japan as a name because then someone will know that from Japan is a man in the middle and then someone else can bid on top of that. So there were services that were boosting up prices if they would see that a proxy was bidding in, the, in between. Uh, we're not going to do that. We don't care. My account. So now I can place another bid. And I want to do a sniper bid. Sniper bid is uh, slightly different than a normal bid. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let's get that one correctly. So now we have the the auction and blah 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 blah. We all read that previous bid, so we don't need to care about that. Okay. So here we go. We have a current bid of a thousand yen. It says current bid. But we have a bid history of zero. So uh, that's not entirely correct. Um, I would like to do a sniper bidding. A sniper bidding means they will, uh, they know that 22 hours, 23 minutes and 10 seconds from now, the auction will end. So they will probably put a sniper bid in five minutes before, something like that. So my maximum mid bid on this is uh, 1500 yen. And maybe someone else did a sniper bid, you never know. Um, and what will happen if someone else is performing a sniper bid uh, is that these systems will snipe against each other. So someone else will place the exact same bid. Uh, and of course, then I fill in like a maximum bid of 1500, um, just in case that someone else is doing a sniper bid as well. Bid. So we have a lot of positive feedback, some negative feedback with a big exclamation mark, but I don't think that would be uh, entirely properly uh, if that's only like six of them. Uh, I want cheaper domestic shipping, I don't want checks, and I just want to agree. Super sniper bid register. And we have a sniper bid su submitted successfully. So this is how you bid on auctions Yahoo. Uh, now going back to my account, you can see that now I only have 2600 yen available from my deposit. Uh, that doesn't mean that I lose 2,400 yen on these auctions. Um, actually, it's only going to use whatever is the final price. So in the case of the GS Tippo, if it stays on 290, only 290 will be paid. The same goes for the car graphic, only 1,000 will be used. So that's the good part of this system. It, this one takes three days before it actually is uh, going to end, which also means that I have to postpone continuing on this video for a couple of days and then continue on shooting it and then giving you updates on it. All right, so we're now uh, advanced two days since I made the uh, bidding and I received this uh, kind email 21 hours ago stating that I won my auction. So that's great. So I have the car graphic and that's already there and I'm uh, apparently uh, a winner. I won the auction. And oh, let's log in. Okay, so this is the car graphic. So as you can see the final winning bid was 1000 yen even though I made a sniper bid of 1500 yen. Um, or did I? Did I make a sniper bid on this one or the other one? I don't know. I don't mind. 
Uh, so it tells me that I have a commission fee of 200 yen and uh, I won the auction and it says like hey you have a charge one total and that's a bit confusing but this is basically uh, stating that I have to pay 1200 yen so I can tell them like I want to use points or pay partially by points which I cannot because I don't have enough points. I can use my credit card, I can use PayPal, or I can use the deposit. So I tell them, please use my deposit and proceed to checkout. So, charge one, I now have paid 1200 yen, 60 yen usage fee, and make the payment. So, I now paid for my item. Good morning, and I have good news. Not only did I win once, but I won twice. And twice for the price that actually it was advertised for. So, as you can see here in this auction, uh, the auction has ended. It says so here in this image. If I push translate, it doesn't show anything here. But it says here, like, exhibitor of this auction, successfully bidder, please log in. But it's basically ended. If you see this on any auction, it has ended. So we can see here that we have... Uh, uh, we basically won it, the remaining time exit, meaning it ended. Uh, so that's a good thing, so I won both auctions and that will make it more interesting, I think, because then we have to combine both of these magazines, booklets, whatever you would call them, and then just ship them to my doorstep. Um, so, as I have shown previously, I have to combine both of them, pay both of them. Let's start doing that, and I'll probably cut a bit here and there. So, we can see that I still have to pay for this one. I have a, a bin winning bid of 290 yen and a commission fee of 200 yen, so that's a good one, uh, which is really good. Uh, do not use points, I just want to use my deposits. Proceed to checkout. Yes, I really want to pay for it. And I'm paying 514 yen for 290 booklets, uh, which is roughly 4 euros. So that's good, that's good. Only the, the shipping cost will kill me. Make payment. So, what next? All right, so as we can see, I have some shipping instructions here. And let's go to the shipping instructions. So uh, I want both of these to be shipped. So I tell it to select both of them. You have to fill in the shipping address. I'll skip over this one, otherwise you will know where exactly where I live. If you do a bit more research, you would probably find it anyway. So it says here, one or more items are paid by PayPal, so the shipping address cannot be changed. Even though I filled in my own personal address, it is going to ship to the PayPal address. And that's important to know, because um, in this case I'm ordering them uh, on behalf of my company. And I like to uh, have it arrived here instead of my home address, so that's, uh, that's good. Um, then it says, like, uh, there can be a surcharge for the following items. Car seats, rims, tires, bumpers, mufflers, very large items, heavy-duty items. I'm not buying any one of those, but I still could get, like, a bunch of rims. <laughs> and then I have to pay surcharge. So this service isn't that good for automotive parts in general. Maybe, maybe like, a tail light or something that would be fine if it fits in a box. Um, if an item is specified to send to a Japan local address, members are to require 8%. Um, we're not doing that. Continue. So now it says like, okay, products to be shipped. Then we get into the preferred packaging pa method. So we can do uh, two things. We can either do it regular pack packing. It will not be packed with lots of packing. Uh, we can extra secure packing, uh, which I did for the Karina clock, uh, or lightweight packing. The seller's packaging will be removed and minimum packaging material will be used. Additional handling fee 500 yen. So the lightweight packaging it might be worth if you have multiple items and then they remove all the material that is around it and just put it inside one single uh, package or maybe an envelope if it fits in that. 
Uh, I don't think it makes a lot of difference in my case. It might because, uh, well, I would save like two times a vanilla envelope, uh, a manila envelope, not a vanilla envelope. That's that's a joke from uh, 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 what's that uh, Monkey Island Monkey Island game? You had a Manila envelope and a vanilla envelope. Anyway, you will save uh, sending twice uh, the packaging uh, and another packaging around it. I'm not going to do that. This is just fine for me to do regular packing. It's just going to be put inside a new envelope. Um, then this is interesting. Up to FGA shipping option, which is a beta version for years already. Uh, what they're going to do is they will decide what is the best option to send it. They will weight it, uh, look at the weight of the, the package and then look what is best. So we have FedEx, EMS, Airmail, SAL, Service Mail, Small Package. Uh, if I use the FGA shipping option, they will tell me what it will cost. So I'm going to confirm and agree and then process. So now I have completed my shipping instructions. I've told them that I want to collect everything at once and send it at once, which is good uh, because then they're not going to send it individually to my home address. Uh, keep in mind that it still has to be collected to uh, from Japan. So it has to be sent from the seller to the man in the middle, which is uh, from Japan or the proxy, however you would call that. Um, that means that I have to wait a couple of days until it's there. And that's also why I'm putting out this video already today. You can already uh, see what I've bid it on, that I've won it and what I've done so far. And then the next video will be about that they will tell me that they're going to ship it and then I'll show you all this stuff around that before it's actually being sent off. And that's it. So um, hopefully you will get an update in a couple of days on this. And then probably after that uh, it takes another one or two weeks before it arrives here. And then I can do the final video on unboxing it. I hope I have informed you well enough on this uh, subject. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below because I, I'm i quite seasoned with uh, using a proxy like from Japan or any of the other proxies. If you want to know any other proxies, I can name them. Um, I'm, I'm just using from Japan because I'm currently finding them the most convenient one. All right, see you and take care.